Hey everyone, you may have noticed that the Ibex line of ultrasound systems is ever expanding and maybe you're confused about what the new models do, what the differences are between the models, and maybe which one's right for you. So I'm here today to clear up any confusion. So the important thing to know is that all three Ibex models, the Ibex Lite, the Ibex Pro, and the brand new Ibex HR, all function with the same operating system, use the same transducers, and the same batteries. Therefore, you're gonna get the same image and most of the same features on all three options. So the main difference comes down to form factor, personal preference, and maybe the applications for which you're using your ultrasound. The Ibex Lite is our screenless model. This is the most basic unit. It weighs about three and a half pounds and is designed to be waist worn with either a goggle headset or a wireless transmitter that sends your image to a mobile device such as a phone or a tablet. The Ibex Pro is basically based on the Ibex Lite box, but we've added a flip up monitor, a full keyboard and a trackball for navigation. This makes it easier to use if you're doing a lot of measurements, if you wanna store a lot of images or make annotations on the screen, but it will still accommodate the goggles. So if you close the screen and plug in the goggles, you basically have the Ibex Lite. The latest in the Ibex lineup is the new Ibex HR, which bridges the gap between the Ibex Lite and the Ibex Pro by having a flesh mount monitor on the side of the box. This system is a great choice for somebody who needs the self-contained mobility of the Ibex Lite, but maybe doesn't prefer to use a goggle headset or needs a little bit more peripheral vision. This system's typically worn in a hip rider harness or a sling, although it could be hung from a chute, and it also does accommodate the goggles, so you have the choice of using one or the other. All three models come with the option to either have interchangeable transducers or they can be hardwired to your favorite probe. And this is where some of the naming convention that might be confusing comes in as well. So for example, we have the original Ibex Pro, we have the Ibex Pro R, which is hardwired to a linear rectal probe, and we have the Ibex Pro C, which is hardwired to a curved rectal probe. So which one is the right choice for you? Well, that depends on how you're gonna be using your system, what your facility setups are like, and what your personal preferences are. But typically the Ibex Lite is used by our dairy practitioners and by folks that are working out in bright sunlight, for example, uh, in aquatic scenarios or maybe with wildlife. The Ibex Pro is an ideal option for equine repro, beef cow repro, or mixed large animal practices that might want to use it with the screen closed for dairy herd checks and then set up tabletop like this for small ruminants, equine, or any number of other applications. The HR is a fantastic choice for anybody who maybe would typically use a light system and doesn't need as much access to the keyboard applications, but perhaps doesn't prefer goggles or is working in a scenario such as with um, young mares uh, where maybe they don't want to have something in front of their eyes. So this is just a very nice alternative and again adds the versatility of having the option to use the goggles or not use the goggles for different applications. The Evo model is the big brother to the Ibex platform. It has its own operating system and its own transducers and it's a much more powerful system. So this is a great choice for somebody who wants to incorporate ultrasound into perhaps a mixed practice, doing some small animal work, and then retaining the ruggedness and durability necessary on the large animal side of things. It does accommodate the goggles and it has a host of advanced features for the small animal side, such as Doppler and a nice patient filing system. It's still wearable in either a waist pouch or on a bino harness. And so it's really the ultimate in versatility. The ideal candidate for the Evo ultrasound is either a mixed practitioner who wants to use it for multiple applications or perhaps somebody who's doing more advanced things in the field, such as ovum pickup or carcass ultrasound, maybe equine musculoskeletal work or extensive fetal gender determination. I hope this helped to clear things up a little bit. Feel free to reach out if you need some help in figuring out which system might be best suited for you and to get our current prices and discounts.